Um, here's a quick interrupt to proceedings. Just received this grandfather clock for a repair. Um, according to my friends on the Open Clock Club, it's a 18th, early 18th century long case clock. Um, well made, lovely pillars here. Um, and it's got an hour wheel um, uh, support here. So a, a lovely piece of kit. Um, things wrong with it? Well, it wasn't working. Um, one of the uh, gut lines is missing. On this side here, we have a pendulum chime, which obviously has been uh, taped up to make sure it didn't make too much noise. The, the hammer is actually attached to the strike arm with a blue tack and an old matchstick. So that needs to be uh, put right. Other than that, looking at the chime count wheel here, the there is a bend in the lever here so it's not um, going on the snail here. So um, a lot of things to uh, look, look at, but I think mainly a good clean will get this going nicely. One thing I noticed at the bottom here, there is a broken lever. Wasn't sure what that was, but now found out that is a latch for the pillar, one of the pillars. And you can see this pillar here has actually got a, a keyway on it where the latch would have been onto it. Uh, but um, we now have pins holding the thing together so this isn't actually used anymore. Um, so next step is to strip this down. I've ordered some new um, th synthesized uh, gut line here for both sides to renew that. So we'll strip it down and see uh, what it's like. One thing I noticed was all the pivot points have been um, attacked with punches to put the hole in the right position. It seems to be the case in almost all the pivot points, so I imagine that's probably something that was just done uh, as a norm to get things exactly right. But we'll see when we take it apart how well space the uh, wheels are and whether any attention is needed there too. Okay, um, I'll uh, come back to you after we've uh, put this through the cleaning path. So before I take a clock apart, I always take plenty of pictures. It makes such a difference when it comes to putting a clock back together again. All the clock needed in the end was a very good clean. Uh, all the bushes were okay on all the wheels. And so all I did was uh, put the wheels through the ultrasonic cleaner and brush and brushed, uh, cleaned the rest of the components. The original chime bell was smaller than, and it didn't reach the hammer, so I had to end up making a brass plate which I attached to swing the chime bell nearer to the hammer and that meant that I didn't have to make any alterations to the brass movement plate. Here is the movement on test um, using my homemade uh, test stand. And here we are back at the customer's house. A lovely looking movement in its case and the customer was pleased to hear the sound of the ticking and the chiming and it's just as she remembers her mum's clock performing many years ago.